Hey everyone, it's me Marty, and I'm going on a hike, and I'm taking y'all with me. Um, so, I got loaded in Waukesha, Wisconsin with metal parts for uh, like bobcats and tractors and different things. Um, and it's going to Otsego, Minnesota, back towards home. And then I'll probably be going home after that and be home the rest of the week for a big, big weekend. So, it'll be nice. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm rolling westbound on I-94 through Wisconsin, and I'm at mile marker, I believe it's 120, 121 along in there, westbound at the Black River Falls, um, rest area. And I was here, I mean, I've stopped here different times, but years ago, probably 15, 16 years ago, um, I actually walked the trail here. There's a hiking trail goes up in the woods and then there's a really pretty overlook that looks over the valley um and uh yeah so hopefully it's open and i'm gonna go for a little hike i, I don't remember if it's i don't think it's real long i think it's just a little hike but it'd be kind of fun so i'll take y'all you take you all along with me so here we go Here we go, on a hike. Yeah, it was a good 15 years ago. 16, maybe 17 years. Ew, there's actually some little trails in the woods here too. Kind of neat. Oh, this is cool. Oh, there's actually uh, picnic tables in here. Picnic. Got my haversack with me. Get my essentials for a little hike. Oh, that's right. There's a uh, well, uh, law enforcement tribute. And a memorial thing here, too. Warming up a little bit. It's been a little bit cooler the last couple of days. It's been kind of nice. I think it's in the mid-80s now again. Still better than up at 90s. Okay, so it's the Higher Ground Veterans Memorial. Here. Pause that if you want to read it. What's this? Passenger pigeon. Huh. Interesting. Okay, this must be the Wisconsin Law Enforcement Officer Tribute. And I to see the reflection. Neat. Got some stones here with carvings into them. The trail's open. You know, some trails and different places are 
I've been closed lately, but hey, it's a long walk up there. I only went halfway, but it looks like it took me half a mile till you get to the top. Is it? It's well. All it's all paved, but I thought that's too long. <laughs> yeah, I walked it, I'm guessing it was a good 15, 16 years ago. Oh, really? And I didn't remember it being real long, but I remember the view is really pretty up there. It's like an overlook over the valley. Yeah, that's but that's what it says, and I wanted to do that, but I should be on my way. Yeah, I'm not in super great shape, so I don't know if you should do the whole it's thing. Not or not. Too steep, <laughs> I don't remember it being real long. It winds but... around, and I thought, I'm not going to go anywhere. Okay, yeah, maybe on a cooler day or something. Yeah. Well, happy trails. Yeah, have a good day. <laughs> I don't remember it being really long, but... <clears throat> Looks like it's open. That's cool. I don't remember it being paved, though. I mean, we're talking 15, 16 years ago, so... Uh, yeah, I don't remember it being a paved trail, but... Oh, wow. History of a, uh, fires. Huh. Wow. 1977. Black River Valley. So, yeah, I'll read this quick. White pine trees were growing here when Columbus made the voyage to America. In 1819, the first attempts to saw lumber were unsuccessful. But in 1839, Jacob Spalding, I don't know if he made the balls too, you know, the volleyballs or the... Anyway, found at Black River Falls by erecting the first permanent sawmill and settlement on the Black River. This valley contained the largest pine trees, some of them up to six feet across at ground level, and the most pine trees per township in the state. Huh, this will be neat to see. Before logging ended in 1905, more than 50 sawmills had been in operation in Jackson County. Accurate records kept over a period of 40 years revealed that enough lumber was sawed to have built a plank road nine feet wide and four inches thick around the world. Wow! Iron ore was smelted at Black River Falls in 1856 and again in 1886, but the old process proved too expensive and was abandoned. The Jackson County Iron Company, a subsidiary of the Inland Steel, built a modern processing plant in 1969 that ships 2,800 tons of taconite pellets every day of the year to its blast furnace in Indiana. The mine builds the mine buildings and open pit mine are visible from the overlook on top of this scenic bell mountain mound erected 1976 huh. i love history and it's just amazing all the neat places to see around the world i mean even you know trucking and different places i stop and stuff it's just so neat and so many places are you know they're all beautiful and unique in their own way and and it's all god's creation Kind of neat. So here we go. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was just a dirt trail when I was here last. Now oh, it's tarred. It's kind of nice. Not as rustic, but a little easier to walk. And, you know, if you're in a wheelchair and different things like that, you can still make the trail. So that makes it nice. Oh, this is pretty. Oh, I needed a hike. Fresh air, exercise, and... Make another cool video. 
Ooh, this is pretty. Black River Falls, Wisconsin. I like Wisconsin. It's one of my favorite states. It's really, uh, I mean, it's just tons of forests, rivers, lakes, small towns. There's a lot of bear in Wisconsin. <laughs> And timber wolves and deer. I got my bear bell on my haversack here. I have it on silent. Maybe I should take it out and let it jingle. <laughs> Ooh, there is some really pretty trees in here. Oh, I gotta learn my trees. I don't really know all my trees. These aren't real wide as far as their diameter, but they're tall. Looks like some maple and um, maybe some of the, what are they, like gray birch? Not sure. Lots of pine. Oh my goodness. Party, party. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they put in this paved trail since I was here last. I'm gonna take my time. You know, a lot of times you go fast on hikes. And that's okay too. You know, exercise and but sometimes you miss things. Sometimes it's kinda neat to Take your time. I want to learn more about nature and trees and plants and flowers. And it'd be neat to learn, you know, what edible plants there are. And you know, there's lots of things that are good and healthy and safe to eat. Just to learn what those are. And <laughs> watching bushcrafting videos I'm learning lots and uh, I want to try to find identify and find some uh, oh what is it chaga that grows on trees usually on birch I think it makes uh, well you can use it for a, a fire thing but it also uh, you know it makes really good tea. And then there's, oh, what is there? Amadou and Labrador and I don't know, some of these other things that you can find on plants you can make teas out of and stuff. I don't know what that is, but it's pretty. Oh, there's a little rustic trail. Going that way. Pretty. A little muggy. But now that I'm really getting into hiking, I mean, I've kind of always liked hiking and camping and stuff, but doing it more. When I can, I want to take the opportunity to do it more in the fall. Do everything in the fall more. I just love fall in Minnesota. Cool, crisp temperatures, 50s, 40s, 30s. Bugs are gone. Animals are hibernating. <laughs> Wear a sweatshirt and still be comfortable. Bonfires are fun. Bike rides, walks, hikes. Camping out. And still hear the highway <laughs> over here, but it'll get quieter as I get up in the hills here. Yeah, there's actually a few little offshoots of the trail. That's kind of neat. I'm going to have to take one of them on the way back. <laughs>
Yeah, keep saying it, but take time to enjoy life. Even in your work and the busyness and chaos and uncertainty, whatever. Cherish every day. Just enjoy life. Oh, that's a neat tree. It's an oak, a big, old, unique oak. Oh, there's all kinds of offshoots, little trails here. And then I'll take the rustic way back. <laughs> it's a little of a, a little bit of an incline going up here. <clears throat> Birds are singing. If I remember right, and maybe it's all changed. This bit, again, it used to be just a dirt trail. But up at the top, there's a bench you could sit on and overlook the valley. Maybe it's different now. But I'll probably take a break up there, drink some water, have a snack. different kinds of trees in here bushes I mean if there's a stream or creek or something probably not up here but it's always neat to find water <laughs> I need to zoom in sometimes when I'm doing a video. You never know. I might play it back later and I captured an animal. <laughs> well, not captured them, but <laughs> on video. Wow, that's quite the bridge here. I don't remember this. Again, it was over 15 years ago. Actually, I think I'm a might have been like 2003, which would have been 17 years ago. I could have built all this since then. I don't remember. I remember it being more rustic, but I mean, it's still rustic, but it's a lot more user friendly for everybody now, which is nice. Oh, it's pretty. And it breaks out into the sunshine here. Hope you enjoy these little videos of just sharing my life. Again, sorry I just tooted. Um, again, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. Watch my other videos. I got like over 250 uh, videos on my ramblings in life. <laughs> wow, this is some bridge. This is cool.
the traffic's slowly getting quieter and the birds are slowly getting louder the good little hike hottest part of the day about 85 people carving on the <laughs> railing here um oh early this morning it was only like 60 when I woke up that would have been nice I try to do that sometimes try to hit rest areas and different places in the morning when it's cool and the sun's coming up but it doesn't always work but wow talk about a long <laughs> bridge walkway pretty neat oh is this the top yeah they, they definitely changed this but it's nice Ooh. oh my goodness yeah i forgot it is a gorgeous view. Look at this. Wow, pretty. Well, head back down. 
I might take one of the offshoots, see if it leads me <laughs> back to the parking lot. It's a nice little hike. Oh yeah, I bet this is gorgeous in the fall. All the colors and... Oh, look at that. I'm not sure what kind of tree that is, but it's kind of neat. This is like what? One, two, three, four, five. Like five shoots of it coming out, sprouting up. Um. I think it's maple. It's pretty. Okay. All right. So <clears throat> coming off the little walkway bridge thing. There's the first offshoot. What do you think? Should I do it? <laughs> we love an adventure. Oh. Oh. Hmm. Kind of footprints. Well, it didn't go too far. <laughs> it came back to the trail. I think that's what those little offshoots are. They kind of are little shortcuts and to get you off the main trail. Well, kind of neat. Oh, well, here's another one. Ooh, pretty. Ooh, it's steeper in here. I like it. It's a little cooler in here. Shaded. Okay. 
Yeah, I put my bug spray in and my tick spray. <laughs> oh, this is a good idea. Neat little hike and kind of fun. I wasn't going to videotape going down because it's the same thing, but since I'm taking on these little offshoots into the woods, it's kind of fun. <laughs> you know, I'd come out here and I wouldn't know which way to go except it's going downhill, so pretty sure. <laughs> Must be right. <sighs> Yeah, that, that's, it is, they're little shortcuts. They do kind of cut it short a little bit going back, and you get to go in the woods a little bit. That's kind of neat. And we're back to the parking lot. Well, thanks guys for enjoying the walk with me. Again, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and like and share and comment. And uh, yeah, need some water. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next adventure with Marty.